Candidly, Sharon H. coming at ya, delivering truth bombs and F-bombs like no other. Are your friends jealous of you? How to tell if the envious little suckers are giving you the evils? Sharon H. rolling out my weekly dose of unapologetic candidness. You've ever wondered about the signs someone is jealous of you? Signs your friends are jealous of you. And keep watching all the way to the end for the realest, rawest, straight shooting take on what strikes that little green eyed Ooh. mofo in those that should cheer the loudest for our wins. Just remember, everything in this video is coming from my own perception and viewpoint. Take what advice you want and let the rest slide. Right off of you like Teflon. Give me a show of hands by hitting that like button. If you've ever had one of your friends carry on like a prize pr pr prick whenever something good has happened in your life. And how many of you have then found yourself feeling bad, wondering what the hell you've done? Well, if this is you, then give yourself a bloody uppercut and stop thinking that sh sh shite because this blasted carry-on says absolutely nothing about you and everything about them. In my opinion, jealousy, enviousness shows itself in many forms. Two of the biggest I've noticed is people will either suddenly start to distance themselves from you or out of nowhere start to gnash their teeth at you. People will turn on a dime and bring out their ugly side. Oh, how they'll bring out their ugly side. And one of the best ways to define if there's jealousy around you, if you start to do good for yourself. People you've not seen or heard of in years will come out of the woodwork to badmouth and character assassinate you with warblings on their ar ar ass. Why didn't they do it prior to you making it good? Because they didn't give a fuck about you then. You weren't a threat to their tainted ego. But the second you stepped into your own, you came into their line of vision. They probably assumed you going nowhere like them, but the shock of seeing you ahead of them sent them into a defaming rage. This is how they roll. These kinds will often view your triumphs and others as unfair to them. And speak of the many unfair reasons they cannot or have not achieved the same. They will try to discredit you and your character in any way they can. End and list, they're flying monkeys with it. Another sign there's envy at play is when a friend tries to one-up, compete or fight to outshine you. When there's no longer encouragement and support, but that need to always appear one step ahead. They may become coldish and distant, huh and be right up supporting everyone else's social media. And nowhere near yours. And in the off chance they do acknowledge you, their once very supportive, complimentary comments become very impersonal and generic. If it's someone that you're seeing all over the place, but they're seemingly avoiding your posts like the play when you've been nothing but good to them, then odds are, it's deliberate. They don't want to praise you openly because they fear others may see the good in you too. Of course, if they're sort of on social media, then this can be an innocent oversight. It can easily happen. But if it's regular, then odds are your gut is sort of wrong. Anyone that can support others wins, but ignore yours. Someone they call a friend or supposedly care about. Yep, that green-eyed little fuck, fuck, fucker at play again. If these people are also throwing passive aggressiveness into the mix, when they do acknowledge you with backhanded compliments and an ass hat of the highest calibre they're being, they're envious as hell and want you to feel less as so they can feel more. Another sign someone is jealous of you is if they play the game of comparisons. Everything you achieve they or someone they know has done better, 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 better. I know a few people like this. Everything I'm proud of or happy with, they gotta put on their comparisons hat and tell me of the greater accomplishments of they or someone they know. Another trick they use, if you get something you're happy with or love, they'll find a way to cut it down. You get something you've wanted for years and they'll say something like, I couldn't justify paying that. When you can get knockoffs that look just 
looks the no. same. When my husband bought me my engagement mm. ring, one of the women in our circle couldn't wait to tell me. She'd heard it was a cubic zirconia. Lucky I'm not a showy person because I couldn't have cared less. But of course, it wasn't. What an asshole thing to say, right? Yep, you guessed it. That green mm. eye, the little numb nut. Enviousness, because she didn't yet have one on her finger. Even at 20 years old, I could see that. Be envious will turn everything good that happens to you or because of you into a negative. A piss, piss, pissing competition. They're going to make sure you lose. They won't say anything positive because they are devoid of any positivity for any of your wins or pluses. They will not mm. applaud you mm. or your wins. Celebrate oh. you <laughs> at any cost. They will try everything in their power to distract the focus from whatever you are celebrating. These people are relentless in their need to make you feel small. To subtly knock you down a peg or two. Want to test it out? What's something you are happy with or proud of about yourself on your social media where your friends and family can see and see how many of them will cheer you on? Odds are you already know the ones that won't bother, but you can bet your ass they'll be watching. How many can you count that will click on your stories for a good bird's eye view of your life? I would rather eat their own tongue than hit the like button on your posts, which actually take less effort. Social media can be a wonderful thing, but it can also cause a lot of indifference between people. When we see our so-called friends or loved ones commenting on everyone else's posts, even random posts, but not our own, it's hard to not take that sh sh shit personal. Because it is very Fucking personal. Social media, especially in these times, is how we all connect. These people should be cheering the bloody loudest and they know it. They pretend not to see you because, yep, that green-eyed monster won't let them point out your good. You have to kind of wonder if they've been talking shit about you and are worried others may see them now supporting you. You turn up to an event feeling a million bucks. You tell them they look fabulous. They'll give you the once-over, then tell you they like your earrings your shirt. Anything, everything that is not a direct praise of you. This is what they do. These people just cannot and will not celebrate you, but they are typically the first to expect you there cheering for them. And we typically are because we are not being brain fucked by the green eyed Ooh. monster. Most of it comes down to them being insecure and struggling with low self esteem. Because those that are comfortable with whom they are and what they bring seldom suffer from jealous bouts. Nothing more than a wasted emotion. Another way I've found if you put up a picture of yourself on social media, it will mostly be strangers or acquaintances that hit that like or love heart button. But if you put up a meme or a picture of your kids, those very same people that ignored your picture will be straight on it. These people are too caught up with their enviousness and their jealousy to realize that their transparency game is strong. Anything you are doing or plan on doing, they will see the cons rather than the pros. Anything to set off that sliver of self-doubt. Have us second guessing Ooh. ourselves. They will argue it's black even when it's white. Anything to disagree with our ideas or beliefs. It's a power play. If we put ourselves down, they won't try to convince us otherwise. They will play on our weaknesses further by heightening them through agreement or long, cold, hard silences. That saves so much. But recognize this is them screwing with you. With others, everything is about status and looking well to do. Anything you have beautiful, they have to go grand off. They're typically very brave and keeping up appearances focus. If you mention there is something you are wishing for or saving for, they won't be able to get in first fast enough. Everything will be designed to outdo you. This is just how they are wired. Stop telling them you want what you don't want and let them rush out and get it whilst you go get what it is you do want. You just cannot win at any cost because to the jealous and envious, it's all about competitiveness and stroking their own bruised ego. They will have to level the playing field any way they can at your expense. They have to cut us down to feel bigger. They will downgrade your 
accomplishments, when you are not in the room, so others view them as lesser too. They will also turn away or act distracted if you're talking about something good in your life to others. It's as if they try to take themselves out of the space because then if they don't hear it, it can't be true. And they don't have to applaud and praise you if they don't hear. They'll avoid you, your good fortunes. It triggers their insecurities and they practice avoidance in fear of lashing out. You can try to tell them their actions hurt you, lay your feelings completely on the table, but the truly envious won't care one iota as it serves as power or they'd stop doing it. When we feel disgusted, dismissed or undervalued by those we care about, it cuts deep. They can only make you bleed if you let them draw blood by taking their daggers to the heart. If all else fails, you can be the bigger person. Display compassion and understanding for the envy they can't conceal from shining through. And I mean never let them get into your psyche, believing this a detriment of yours. It is a detriment to that green-eyed little fu fu fucker in them and not one goddamn thing about the good that is you. Don't rush off. Be sure to check out this video next. Thanks for watching.